Lux watches for newbies, king of the American watch YouTubers, taking you places no other watch channel would dare go. All right, watch people, welcome back. This is King Lux, the best of the American watch YouTubers that's out here now. So I think I'm gonna drop this video around Thanksgiving Day because usually Thanksgiving Day in America is a time where we get together and we argue with our family. So I'm imagining uh, a lot of people are gonna be talking about the past US election. So I wanna just talk about this election and I wanna, I wanna shout out uh, President Trump for getting a couple things done that no one else has been able to do. All right, so for my European viewers, the first thing I wanna say is do not believe the hype. America is not divided. America is very much united. All that's been going on is a cold war. There is a civil war going on, but instead of it being like a shooting war, it's a cold war where we're doing it in the court of public opinion, social media, and politics as well. I think I missed it at first just because as a person of color in America, I'm kind of used to psychological warfare and white supremacy and institutional racism being waged on us that I didn't even realize that the white folks were fighting each other, which is something different, but now I see it clearly. But with that being said, we are united because if we treat each other like that, imagine what it is we'll do to somebody who tries to come over here and invade. It's like, y'all don't stand a chance. So Russia, China, whatever, hey, start something if you want to. People are primed and they're looking for somebody to take it out at. So we are united in America. So for the American audience, I want to thank President Trump for two things. Number one, he has been able to get the most people ever to vote, which I'm a big proponent of. Now, you know, whether they're voting for him or voting against him, no one else has ever been able to get this many people to vote before. So you got to give him credit for that. The second thing you got to give him credit for is that he pulled off the scab and by that, I mean, people have been able to hide behind a lot of things, but with President Trump, he was blatant. Like, he is obviously a bully. He obviously lies with impunity. I mean, he obviously cheats on his wife. All these things that were previously considered moral failures, you know, now it's kind of like he's been so open about it that he made it so that people had to publicly show what side they're on. So for me, President Trump has made it obvious that white supremacy and uh, racist and stuff like that, he's not necessarily completely against them. Yeah, he'll he'll make lip service and, and say that, but you could just tell by the way he hesitates and, you know, goes back and forth that it's really just not in his heart, which is cool. I mean, hey, as an American, that's his right. You got a right to believe whatever it is you want to be. If I want to be a black supremacist, that's my right as an American. But what he's done is he's made it so obvious that if you are a supporter of President Trump, you either are a white supremacist, prejudiced, or racist, or it's not a deal breaker for you, right? So by that, I mean, as long as you get your guns, you're okay with the other stuff, right? If you get your tax cuts, you're okay with the other stuff. Whatever it is your particular issue is, abortion or whatever, he's made it clear, he's made people have to be clear that for their one issue or two issues, they're willing to put up with a lot of the other stuff. Now for me, white supremacy, sympathizing Nazis, I mean, that's like a deal breaker for me personally. That's something that I can't, I can't really get behind. But I mean, if I was white, I mean, maybe, maybe it'd be different because as if I'm a white man in America, all the people he's talking about, like they're not me really. So it's not that threatening. If he's talking about the Mexicans or the blacks or the Muslims, and I'm neither of those, I mean, I can see how it wouldn't be helpful, but it's not really going to be a deal breaker if I get like, you know, three, 4,000 back on my taxes. So from that perspective, I understand that group. The good thing about election data is that a lot of it is public. And what it is we learned is that most of the people who tend to be sympathetic toward Trump, which meaning, you know, 
white supremacy, misogyny is not really a deal breaker for them overall. They tend to be white men who live in rural areas, whereas people who are, I guess, more liberal tend to live in the city. So now you know exactly where the people are, which is useful because this has been a long term thing in America. We've been hiding and hiding and not dealing with issues. But now we know exactly where the people are and we know what their stands are. So we can finally maybe get this thing out in the open. And I'm OK with that because I don't want my son to be dealing with these same things that we've been dealing with since like the Ronald Reagan era. So, so yeah, in closing, I just want to say thank you, President Trump, for bringing the most people ever out to vote. And in second, thank you also for making people have to be clear about where their positions are. President Trump, I salute you, boss. Hey, man, I wish you the best. You know, hey, we'll see how it goes. That's all I got for now. Lux watches for newbies. King of the American watch YouTubers taking you places no other watch channel would dare go. Which, I mean, if I was trying to sell you a watch, I'd probably have to worry because you might downvote it or leave a bad comment. Enjoy your Thanksgiving. Have fun fighting with your family. And I'll talk to y'all later.